Amazing. Consumable. Summon several eyes of Cthulhu. Oh yeah, good dodge. Good dodge, game raiders. We are here. Another Terraria challenge. We're not gonna spin the wheel, but pretend that I spin the wheel, okay? Our challenge today is that there is a mod called Fargo's Fish Anything. So you can see, you can fish any item from any water. Items with lower rarities are more common. Have fun. That's it. Here's the here's the mod list. Just threw a random bunch of mods in here. I think today our goal is gonna be to kill the first boss from Split. So let's do it. Look at all my characters. They're all naked. That's funny. My nose is clogged right now. You're gonna hear heavy Game Raider's mouth breathing. <gasps> all right we're playing as the bear like i said bear make a charmin bear we can make the charmin bear but we can make the red one the blue one's more iconic we're doing these guys right here these are the bears that wipe their asses all the time hey, at least they stay clean right i don't think i've ever seen one of them wash their hands in the commercial though do the do the bears have a name oh they do have they do have names the name of the bear you ready this is the name of the bear leonard <laughs> Our first goal is get the merchant. We need the merchant because he sells nets. We need the net for bait. All right, we need to find money. Money, 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 money. That needs to happen right away. Money. I need the pockets full. Would I smash the bears? <laughs> no. You know the toilet stays clogged. Invisible stuff. There's a cactus claymore. I forgot we're playing with this split mod, even though I said the split mod boss is our goal. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, this is where we should be getting our money from, those right here. 50 silver? We're so close, right? <laughs> we got our hands on the silver. That means I need to start making the houses. We got to get the merchant in here. Because the whole point of this is to go fishing. Get all our goodies from fishing. When I get this shepherd staff, some say tumbling sheep to fight for. Oh, look at the little sheep. Oh, who wants a man of shadows? If I put this in here somebody's moving in watch go ahead you can move in now i got what you wanted look at that i told you oh i told you he would move in as soon as i placed that painting i know the painting was beautiful that's why you wanted to move in i got you i got you with the hookups oh actually i don't know what i'm saying uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna buy this from you i don't got you with anything i just got you with the house the house is on me, but it's not like I have a choice, right? This is where... Oh, wait. Let me make a fishing pole. Can I make a little iron one? And this is where the real journey begins. Boom. One worm. Oh, two worms? Beat the hell out of this rabbit. Damn. Get off of me. That rabbit was sticking to me. Game Raiders loves masturbating. It is one of the better baits in the game. So technically, you can say that I love to get master bait. Racquetball. <laughs> POV. Racquetball class. Have you ever experienced any paranormal event? And if so, can you share the story? All right. Um, I remember this one time I was sleeping over at my friend's house. Me and a bunch of my friends were staying over at uh, one of my friend's houses. This is probably like four or five years ago. And we're staying at his house. A bunch of my friends, they like to watch like haunted, scary videos. And I wasn't in, I wasn't in for that shit, you know? I, I'm half white, but I'm not into those Caucasian activities that they were doing. And none of them are white, so that's the weird part. They were doing some of that shit. They were like watching these like cursed videos on YouTube. Going to like cursed websites and shit. And it's like 2, 3 a.m. at night. And I was on the couch, the, the main couch, and I was just trying to sleep. And then I remember I was asleep a little bit and then I woke up and like I looked at the screen and there was just some freaky ass shit. They were watching some scary ass shit. And I was like, oh, hell no. Why did I look at the screen? <laughs> and then I remember they were like done watching stuff. The kitchen and the living room are like connected in my friend's house. And then there's a door that leads to all the bedrooms in the kitchen. And we could all see the door. And then... For some reason, the door just slowly like creeped open just out of nowhere after we were done watching all the videos. And then like one of our friends, like he's the one that always like watches scary shit. That dude was in fucking shock. <laughs> to me, that shit was funny. I was like, these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers watched all those videos and got scared because the door opened. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess you can consider that paranormal. I'm pretty sure it was just a fucking draft going through the house. Who was the most annoying kid you knew growing up? What, am I going to call his ass out? 
Fucking Tanner. Second grade was the most annoying little shit. All right, let's get to fishing. This is what we've been waiting for. What type of goodies do we get from fishing? Ancient cobalt breastplate. I'll take it. Rocket four, just one of them. <laughs> White, oh shit, impact drill? Is this the drill that shoots? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. Come on, midnight staff. Bro, I don't, I'm not a healer. Oh, that's a pretty good weapon though, what the fuck? <laughs> I get really sad when I don't catch anything. What is this? Alluring skull. Increase your max number of minions by one. Oh, I get even more at nighttime? Well, shit, it's nighttime. So what? I get three of them now? Yeah, three sheep. Have you ever had a Karen interaction? Uh, no, nah, not that I can really remember. I remember when I worked at Target, there was this lady. She like, she asked me about an item. And, you know, I searched up the item on my tablet that I have. Or, uh, it's called a zebra. So I had my zebra. She asked me if there was a certain item. I looked it up. Couldn't find it. Tell me why this bitch didn't trust me. Tell me why this bitch thought I faked the task. <laughs> she must have knew what a zebra was. Like she must have worked somewhere that also had a zebra. So she asked me like, can I see the zebra? Or can I see your device? Because she wanted to like check it herself. And I was like, bro, what? I was like, all right, yeah, go ahead. Because, you know, I would, I would feel even better if she checked it out and she proved herself wrong and thought I was lying, you know? And then she asked me to put a fucking rain check on something. And I was like, what the fuck is a rain check? I've heard the phrase rain check in like TV shows and shit. But I've never had someone ask me to put a rain check on an item. She asked me to rain check the item for her. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> when she asked me to do a rain check for the item... I was like, yeah, I got you. Wink. Uh, yeah, wink. I got you. And I never saw her again. That's what you do when you work at retail. The best job is security guard because you can assault people when they steal shit. No, that's not worth it. As fun as that sounds, like when does somebody fucking shanks you over a fucking $10 backpack at Ross? When I worked as security guard at Ross, you know, I would fill in for security guards sometimes. I just, uh, you would literally, as a security guard, you just walk around and look at people. And then when somebody was stealing, it's fucking Ross. I'm not about to go have a brawl over a $10 pair of shoes. <laughs> I just, I would let them steal. I don't give a shit. I'm not, for that. <laughs> I don't care. The only time I'd have to like really care about something is if like my manager would notice somebody suspicious too. Like if my manager on duty would be like, hey, is that guy suspicious? I'd be like, oh yeah, he is. And they would make me like tell him. I remember we had like a head security guard and he would try and like, he would try to like fight people sometimes. And I'm like, bro, you have some issues at home or some shit, man. Working security job at a cemetery, that probably isn't that bad. Unless you start seeing shit, then maybe that's like when you quit. Morning wood flesh skewer. That's what I call my pee pee. Squirrel statue. <laughs> this is this is way more fun than building like a regular house in Terraria. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> this is gigantic. Perfect. What a fucking wholesome picture. <laughs> you should make a weapon where the damage is your credit card number. <laughs> Wumbo, if you guys know Wumbo Sloth. He made like a old merch design as a joke a long time ago. And the shit was kind of hard when I looked at it. <laughs> Let me see. Let me pull it up here. Look at this. <laughs> Hold up. There might be some other merch I could pull here. Where is it at? This right here. Planta was just like sketching stuff. And this is something that he sketched. He was like sketching like my design for a thumbnail. And this was one of the sketches he had. This shit's kind of fire. Another design by a Wumbo Sloth. My best artist. Sunflowers. Not actual sunflowers. A picture of sunflowers. Singular platinum ore. Boys, we're rich. Consumable. Summon several eyes of Cthulhu. I don't know about that one. I'll throw a bowling ball at a shark. Watch this. I got a yo-yo bag. Yeah, I'm versatile. Silly balloon machine. <laughs> yes, finally. What? 
Did you see my fishing rod just disappear? Cold front. That's all the mana I have. <laughs> I think I think we're good there. I hope. I don't know. Uh, well, let's look at all our items. Uh, let's start with this. Shroomifies the entire world. Actually, let's start with this. Drag everything to me. <laughs> and store whatever I can. Uh, let's pop this open. Wow, they gave me iron bars. What a garbage ass. We got healer armor. I don't know if I want to wear this healer armor because it takes damage away. We got this golden buckmet. Protects you from negative feedback. Interesting. We can get rid of the sword, obviously. Don't need the sword anymore. I think we get rid of the sheep. We don't need the sheep because we got this. This copper X staff or copter X staff. Now, if you guys remember watching that video, you know what this is. Look at that. Got a little uh, stardust dragon. Let's open the treasure bag. We get anything good? We got hollowed stuff. I don't think I could use any of this stuff. Like at all. Because we need an anvil. Rib racket. Maybe we'll use. Let's use this. Shroomifies the entire world. <laughs> so everything should be shroomified. If it's shroomifiable, it's shroomifiable. Let's see. This ain't shroomified. Maybe it's only like areas that can actually be shroomified, like the jungle, yeah. Since we can only fight the boss at nighttime, we have to go. Let's get prep for it. I just need amethyst and a demon altar. Let's get it. All right, where's the closest demon altar? To the left. Take it back now, if I die to this boss, naked playthrough. All right, let's get it. Hey, hello. Got a little banger playing. Okay. What happened to the banger? That shit was banging. Oh yeah, good dodge. Good dodges, game raiders. I didn't really dodge it too much there. We're using a pre-hard mode weapon, so it's technically not cheating. That was so easy. It was up, bro. I thought it would be easier. Hey, you don't look like a space pirate. Of course you're not. Did I? Ooh, I just got it all mixed up. But my transmitter got a signal from here. Now it's absolutely irre irre irretrievably destroyed. How do I get back now? Oh, I think you should talk to D's. I think he knows how to get back. Is he just here now? Let's fight him again. I can't fight him again. Get the fuck out of here. I want to fight you again. Oh, there you go. Hey. 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 All right, here. I'll take off my summon. And I'm only going to use the pre-hard mode weapons. Now, challenge myself a little bit. I'm still going to keep all the strong accessories on, but I'll use the weak weapons. Seems fair. Oh, yeah. I could fly. I forgot about that. I should do this. Yeah. Pre hard mode weapons going hard. Maybe hit him with a couple of bowlers. Imagine getting hit by a pair of balls on a string. I'd be mad as hell. And let's finish it off with the racket. Easy. Look at that, gave us scissors. There we go, challenge complete. Easy as hell. Obviously, we got to use like hard mode weapons <laughs> or hard mode accessories and stuff. I hit him with a couple of Ds. The Charmin Ultra Soft Bear, also known as fucking Leonard, prevails again. Good job, Leonard. But yeah, I have, I have a fun stream coming up. It's gonna be a Minecraft stream where I try and beat the game only using a trident. What the hell? What was the name of uh, Fred Flintstone's wife? Starts with a W, I think. She just came up into my head. It's Wilma, right? Will my balls fit in your mouth? 